only on two. We saw a post on Facebook about street signs like this. Been so badly, drivers can't even read them. We were surprised to learn there may be a violent message behind them. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross is in Avondale, where neighbors are really concerned about the signs. 30 years ago, that was pretty bad. It's been a lot better. But some say parts of Avondale are showing signs. It looks terrible. Of taking steps back. Oh, it's all bended up. Uh, it don't look good for the neighborhood. So that's North Albany, technically facing east. Right. Left and right, I guess. I mean, they use that as a climbing stair to get up there. Spider-Man? Spider-Man. Or more than one. As for how long these mangled street signs have been this way, it all depends on who you ask. I estimate about a week, but it could be longer. Who knows? About three to four months. Neighbor Angel Torres says he's contacted the city about the problem. It is vandalism seen at Sacramento and Cornelia, Cornelia and Whipple, as well as school in Albany. Chicago police say they're not able to confirm any gang practices, but Torres has all the confirmation he needs. To intimidate the other side, the gang of the neighborhood. Way to mark territory? Mm-hmm. The alderman's office says they've received two complaints about this in August, one fixed in 10 days, but adds it can take an average of 50 days to address. Well, I think a little over 50 days. Is that good enough? No. It shouldn't take more, uh, more than a half an hour for someone with the tools. It might be a small thing, but if that gets fixed, what would it mean to you? It would be a lot. It means that things are taken care of. The city saying one way to cut down on response times for fixing warped signs like the one behind me, make sure to reach out to 311 first rather than your alderman's office or other city department. In Avondale, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. And we reached out to the city to ask about the cost to taxpayers. No word back at this point in time.